Hello, and welcome back to an upside down pizza stuffed inside of a briefcase. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use liquid masking to get this result. This is part two of painting Siri from Gin Wars. In part three, I'll be going over the basing for this model, and we'll do a part four where I'll complete the entire model, and I'll show you everything once it's done. So when it comes to masking, there is many ways of doing this. I choose to use blue tack for a lot of things. Sometimes I'll use masking tape. Other times I'll need to use liquid mask. You can see me using all three of these techniques in this video. My main focus for this video though is going to be on the liquid masking. I'm certainly not a professional when it comes to this, but I'll give you as much information as I've learned from doing this myself. The most important thing is to make sure that your layers before you mask are as dry as they can be. I also tend to put a clear coat over the top to protect that work and make sure, absolutely sure that it's not going to be pulled up by the mask. This stuff can be really, really tough to pull off. It can stick very, very well and it can definitely pull up your layers underneath. You'll see me putting on shadows, you'll see me putting on highlights, you'll see me pulling off masks, you'll see me remasking. Most of the time, I'm basically just trying my best not to get any of the masking outside of the area because once it's down, the whole lot peels off together. So you need to make sure that you're careful about where you put it. I like to put it on quite thick. I find if the coat's too thin, it's a lot more difficult to peel it off once it's been painted as opposed to a thicker coat, which is a lot easier to pull off in one chunk at the end of the painting once it's all dried. So here you can see another layer of putting down liquid mask. And this is going in for my gold layers now. For my gold, I basically use Pro Acryl Bronze Metallic Paint as a base coat. I then take something like Agrax Earthshade and I'll spray that very thinly from the bottom in the shadows just to create the shadows and then I'll go back later and I'll highlight that with rich gold from Pro Acryl. So this is probably the most satisfying bits watching me peel off all that liquid mask. I do, I'm not gonna lie, it's one of the funnest things to take off. Some of the places are more difficult to get to. I find a toothpick is probably one of your best friends in this situation, as well as a blade, any kind of hobby knife will also work well. Unfortunately, a hobby knife will scratch your paint, whereas a toothpick, you've got a bit more leniency to pick away at it. Another cool trick I can tell you is to use the blue tack as well and kind of roll it against the edges will help peel up all the paint that has dried but not necessarily being glued down and all the little pieces of liquid mask that's left in the cracks and grooves and things, the blue tack will help pick it up very nicely. This is the result. Thank you for watching again. Please like and suck rice. If you didn't like that video, just fuck. <laughs> uh, this has to be the last cut. And it's wrong and